Welcome back everybody to the Red of Sadness Naked Gaming Edition, continuing with my playthrough of Mario Party Advance for the GBA. Remember, this is the first game of the Lucid Revenge Wheel for tournament number 3. So, we're gonna be playing Fling Shots, whatever this is. Beat the target score. Tap the A and B buttons to build power. Catch an updraft to fly farther. Oh, I played this uh, when I was actually doing my test thing, playing as Yoshi. And it took me a while actually to figure it out, which is fucking stupid because this is fairly simple. You have to like get get these little tornadoes to build up speed. The idea is to hit get to 500, sorry 5,000, and that's more than enough. But I failed it like three times when I did it, like in, in my test. So this is for recovering the mushroom that I basically wasted here. Damn! See, it makes the noise of, a, of an extra life. Am I going to the right place? Oh man. You know, I don't know anymore. Hold on. Um, the map. Is that where? No, that's not where I want to go, see? It's up there. I want to see the eye. Assuming that's a... The one that this uh, female Wiggler is in love with. Mushroom challenge, yeah, it will happen every time I run out of mushrooms. Pesticide! Beat the target score before the time runs out. Keep the flowers healthy, use the bug spray wisely and water your sunflowers. At the end, check out the controls. That's water. What happened? Oh, okay, I'm using it more than once. Only one at a time. This is like Flagman or something like that. No, Flagman is a completely different type of game. Okay, you're gonna afford mistakes here as long as you reach the oh shit the score or the target score. All right, we got it. We afford just about the enough amount of mistakes that I could have made. Three mushrooms. No, <laughs> why? All right, let's go visit the eye. Assuming th this is the guy in question. I see you want to tell me something. What? God, big guy! Don't make fun of me. Besides, I think I might need to get glasses. Wait, why am I telling you all this? Shoo! Flatter! Oh, I see. She sent you to tell me that? Well, I understand how she feels, but I hardly know her. So it's a little weird. Besides, I've got my eye on someone else. It wouldn't be right to lead her on. Tell her I'm sorry. That's about it. Yeah. Oh, nothing. One more thing. Okay, I guess that would be it. Now I gotta go back to tell Flutter that she has been rejected! Yeah, time to collect more mushrooms. Unfortunately, I already forgot what the girl is. Alright, this again. Was this my first minigame? Actually, I think it was. Yeah, because my first, my first quest, sorry, was basically to collect a ticket and give it to this uh, Goomba guy. Alright, this is uh, probably the easiest minigame there is. It's a fucking joke. You don't even need to be like that good at platformers to know. Alright, let me see where I need to go first. 
Let me take a look. It was the mushroom combo, right? So I guess the amount of stars is basically the amount of quests that you have to fulfill in every location. Well, it makes sense since it has like three floors. Interesting, there is a, an even bigger map here. And you get to a sushi cliff. Alright, I'm close enough. Actually, two spaces away. And it needed to go to the third floor. So I guess, yeah, each floor will be a different quest. That, that's what I'm getting. And of course, each of the quests will allow me to get a star, which is what we see in the map. My flood is fluttering. My heart's fluttering. You have to tell me. Did you, my confession of love go over well? Alright, let's be honest. Oh, let, let's lie first. It bombed? You're such a killer. That's so funny. Ha ha ha, Sniff. You're not joking at all, are you? Whoa! Well, it's better to have love than lost. You got the love me not. Please leave me alone for a while, thanks. Wait a minute, alright. Oh, is that what he said? His heart belongs to another? I had a feeling, but it is still a shock. Thanks for trying, I wanted to have this. So I'm gonna be getting the same item? Regardless of the answer I give? Okay. Yeah, she took it. My lie was basically taken as a joke. Alright, I solved the quest here. And the good thing that is that they suggest another one. Oh, there are 50 quests then. Now I've got 48 more to go. I guess I can hope the same. Yeah, they suggest another one. The second floor of this condo is haunted. I think it might not be true, I'm not sure. I think I played this one as Yoshi. But yeah, I have to make my way over there. That's basically like, like the stars, again, in the other Mario Party games. That, that's ho how it feels. That, that's the objective you need to go to, even though you can take other quests. So I guess that's what the whole game has to offer, basically. How, that's basically how it works all the time. Sneak past the snoozing chain chomp. If it wakes, hide in the barrel. Pronto. Okay, I played this actually before. I never understood why they made the chain chomp spark. Originally they didn't. So yeah, if they, if they um, you wake them up, they're gonna attack you after a couple of seconds. I mean, if you can get away from them, cool, but sometimes they will attack you with such little space and time to escape. I, I think it's better for you to actually hide in the barrel instead of getting attacked. You can afford a few mistakes, but as you can see, there's a time limit, so... I'd rather take longer hiding in a barrel instead of taking hits. And I'll see it. And three more mushrooms. Wait, am I right going to the right place? It's over there, right? Yeah, back to the eye area. Oh, alright. Toad Force 5 fans hang out in the basement. You need something if you want to join them. Wait, is it the same place as before? Fuck. I guess I shouldn't complain. I mean, the idea is to play mini games and. By exploring the area and not reaching anything of the quest, you know? I'm, I'm kind of a hurry in trying to solve all the quests right away. Finish the game before time runs out. Alright. Melon Foley. Okay, I remember this too. The idea is to call it the Melon Last. Alright, fairly simple as you can see. So I guess before ending the episode today, um, it would be cool to solve or complete another quest before that.
Okay. Three quests in here. Okay, where... No, that's another one. Was it on the second floor? Yeah, I actually should take note on where exactly these things are taking place. I saw the thing about these fans. Alright, here we go. Who's there? I'm Lantern Ghost. This is where the Toad Force 5 Club meets. Are you a fan of Toad Force 5? <laughs> Toad Hair, what? You don't have to make fun of us, Mini, and then you get kicked out. No. You bet! Nerd Force 5! Nintendo making fun of nerds. For reals? Because you don't seem like one. Okay, prove it. Show me a Toad Force 5 figure. Any real fan would have a figure of the, re of the hero. So come on, bust it out. Where is it? I don't have one. What kind of fan are you? You need one. If you want us to let you in, get a toy! Go get a figure and let you join us. Hurry up now, get over to the item shop. Where is the item shop? The, that's the question. Okay, don't call me because I know who it is and I'm not gonna answer. Boo Cemetery. Okay, at least they tell you the places. Ice Stadium, Ice Game Room. Wait, where is that item shop? Koopa Bank. Oh, there it is. Alright. That's good to know. All we have to do is go back. Get a toy. And win. Hello, I'm Tumble. If you win a minigame, I'll give you two mushrooms. Are you ready? You'll play Stompbot XL. Let's play. Reach the goal! Alright, steer your robo boots while avoiding rocks and lava. Don't get burned. Oh, I think I remember this. A, 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 A. Tap to win. Okay. Yeah, I have to tap the button. Obviously not hold it. It seems like I took too long. Maybe I should have tapped even more. Uh, I'm tapping the button like crazy and feels like I'm not really going fast. Okay, what exactly am I supposed to do? Oh, I have to hold the button. Why does he say like I have to tap it if I actually have to hold it? Yeah, it took too long. Okay, this is actually a hard mini game. And you can take up to three hits as you can see. But it's saw a medic kit. Okay, is there a way to... Wait, so am I getting killed because of a... of a time limit? Or because I actually got hurt three times? Oh, you okay. The goal is actually not very far away. But this is still very tough. So you got a time limit, basically. That, that's what this is all about. Wait, was, was that a... Okay, I thought that was the goal. Okay, this minigame is kind of ridiculous. Way too demanding. You have to do it perfect and... It takes a little long. Too many obstacles, so little time. I'm not enjoying it. And all of this is just for two mushrooms, right? Barely made it. Again, I kind of don't like it very much. I mean, the idea is interesting, but eh, way too demanding. You beat it, congrats! As he promised, here are two mushrooms. See you later. So yeah, I'm supposed to be going to the item shop. Six mushrooms! Are you fucking kidding me? Alright guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next weekend with more Mario Party Advance.